hi and welcome to visual basic tutorial of tab control this tutorial is actually at the request of one of my viewers out there so let me show you how it works the default tab is the calculator tab then we have the receipt tab we have the mathematics tab and the help tab there's nothing in there okay it's all about tab control and there as well up here we can also click on help mass receipt and calculator so let us go straight into visual basic development environment and we'll put one of these together like i said it's just all about tab control hi and welcome to visual basic tutorial in this session i'm going to show you guys how to use the tab control this is at a request of one of my viewers out there i'm going to click on create new project all right i'm going to call the name of this project vb tab control so let's just enter vb underscore tab control and save it make sure visual basic is selected select windows forms application click on okay let's assume your form is ready so what i would do now is to go straight in here and let's grab a tab control here okay on your toolbox you should be able to see tab control and there we go draw your trap tab control just like that i'm going to show you various things you can do on this very tab itself so let's assume this is our tab one you can click right up here you see this little rectangle there click to add more tab the default tab is always tab one and tab two so we can add more you see we have three four now we have five in total five tabs now go to the properties of that very control and right here you see that tab page click on the tab page property the very first tab that is it right there whatever you want to enter on the first tab you can change it let's assume you want to enter a calculator so i'm just going to copy something and just paste it there that will be our calculator there we go the second one and let's assume the second one is a receipt the third one maybe that happens to be something like let's say we want something um yes it's a mass something to do with mass anything and here that might be our help file okay we have four in total now for the very first tab let's say it's calculator that you want in there oh well, by the way you can even change the color let's come in here you can change the back back color let's i'm going to go for candidate blue right that's the color okay and let's come right here let's grab as follows buttons and we just create our calculator there okay now let's come straight to the pro properties and change the color of the very buttons maybe we change it to something like that and let's make the font make that bold font type me there we go there so creating a calculator that's not the main purpose of it it's all about controlling the tabs itself so i'm going to show you guys that now let's just add a text box first and i'll show you what to do now supposing let's change that to multi-line now supposing we want to run this calculator or this tab control by using either a button or a menu so let's add a menu to it and let's come right down right up here let's reach the menu somewhere there we go we have a menu so now our menu there we can call that that can be file there we go and here let's say we have calculator the next menu is a receipt and we have a we have mass we have help 
and the fifth one is just there so we can always delete that one let's come in and get rid of that one okay we only have four and minimize that now in here first thing first let's look at the name of this tab control look at it it's known as tab control one so i'm going to copy that come straight up here double click on calculator the calculator menu double click on it and right in there paste that in there dot select selected index look at it equals tab number one that's all okay i'm going to copy that now let's go to the next one receipt double click on receipt there equals tab number two let's come in here mass equals tab number three and next one here the help file is equals that so i'm going to change the look of all of these that's number four but if i run the program this is what you guys will see when i click come in here let's go to mass there we go that's the mass there okay now let's come back in here all right that should be zero then okay so we need to change that around to so stop it from working there now this should be zero one two three right there so it starts from zero zero one two and three let's select number yeah the help file that's the help file there now let's come in here select yeah that's that's fine so that's how you just write a simple line of code for those uh, to control the tabs itself now one other thing is i'm just going to change the appearance of everything and get back to you guys very shortly okay this is how it looks now but uh, for the receipt all i'm just going to do is come in here add a rich text box let's see ah uh, there we go come in here draw that's it that's the receipt if you want you can always change the background as well let's change the background of that to something totally different from our previous background and let's come in here maybe power that blue as well now for the math methods we can just copy something here let's change the color so that you guys will know the difference of everything or the difference in everything so let's change that to gray and help file i'm going to leave the help file as white so they all have different colors now all right now for the mask let's come in here get a button about one two and one more thing here let's look for text box one two and three that's for the mathematics the help file let's get a tree view there or we can just add a radio button as well radio button for the help file and maybe change the color of the background to there that's it and run the program so like i said the tutorial is all about using the controls okay so if you come into file you can go to reset you can go to mass you can go to help file so what i would then do now is i'm going to come in here just add some buttons to do exactly the same thing i'm going to need four buttons so all we then need to do is to write a couple of lines okay double click on that and since that is for the very first tab so i'm going to enter tab and do that the very first tab is going to be zero copy paste and that is zero and the next one here is going to be tab number one followed by the mouse tab that's going to be tab two and finally the help file will be tab three and that's all there is to it so my friend that's how to control your tab so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial as you can see we are able to control any of the tabs that we want i hope you enjoyed you have a nice day now bye for now